all right so now I'm going to show you how to make your own grain spawn jars with popcorn which is what I prefer uh, popcorn is harder than rice so brown rice can get mushy and contaminate a lot easier than popcorn um, which is why when I I am messing with a uh, rice I always tell you don't squish it because um, that promotes contamination and all that stuff so popcorn is is rather cheap it's easily available it's super easy to do I do everything in an instant pot because it's a lot simpler than a pressure cooker and you use it for cooking and other stuff so most people that buy a, a pressure cooker they buy it specifically for mycology and then they don't use it for anything else so it can stay there unused for months and months and months yellow popcorn is better because the white mycelium shows better contrasts better on yellow than on white popcorn it's the only reason but both work also we're going to use a little bit of calcium sulfate uh, which is gypsum we add this to our cocoa coir not mandatory same as this you you don't have to add it to popcorn it supposedly helps the mycelium grow so we're going to add it again it's cheap get it from amazon um, it's on my list of uh, tools and materials um, popcorn from Walmart from any any old place of course this is raw popcorn not microwavable no nothing added just plain popcorn so what we do is popcorn is gonna expand I think it expands to twice its size so I fill it each one to about half because we don't want it to go all the way up we don't want it to go all the way up so I fill it to about half because it will expand up to around here the fill line do not fill over this line is up here um, but since you're gonna break and shake um, you want a little bit of space um, you can go all the way here because look but leave it a little bit lower so about half and if you have a bit less it's no big deal um, I've never measured it and stuff so about half each and then we go to the next step so with popcorn, the first thing to do is dump our two jars in here. I can fit three jars later um, for pressure cooking and sterilizing, but I am also going to sterilize this uh, liquid culture. So we're gonna have one jar of liquid culture and two jars of uh, popcorn, green spot. So we're going to have two jars of grain spawn and one jar of liquid culture making three jars in here as you'll see later. So since I'm using less I'm not going to use a full teaspoon. About half maybe a bit more that's enough. Mix it up. And then make sure that this is set, this is not set to vent, and this one does it automatically. And we go here, pressure cook, remove the keep warm. Okay, the Insta button now says end. All right, so. We took the uh, popcorn out of the instant pot and we set it here to drain. We left it for five minutes. Some people leave it for like 30 minutes, an hour, I don't know. 
I've found that what works best for me is five minutes so that it, it's not too dry, it's not too wet. That for me has been the best, five minutes. So we left it here for five minutes. I put a uh, upside down bowl so that the bottom of this uh, is not sitting in water because then it would never drain. So water will trickle down here and away from the uh, metal bowl here. So now all we need to do is separate it into two jars and those will go in the pressure cooker, instant pot. We're just trying to get the same amount in each jar. Remember, we filled it with um, dry popcorn up to here and it expanded, so it's gonna be up to around here, which is exactly what we want. It, it pretty much doubles. exactly where I wanted up to the fill line where's my fill line it's right here so that is perfect put the lids on I'm gonna cover them with aluminum foil we'll be ready to go so now we just put some aluminum foil on them Um, if you press hard on it, these things will poke through, so we leave like a little dome on top and press around the edges, not here. And then we just cut around. And this helps so that the vapor goes in but water doesn't fall on top of our filters and stuff it shouldn't be a problem but I'd rather keep these filters dry from the top the other one Put around as well Probably don't have to, but it's neither. I like it better. All right, so we have the three jars inside the pressure cooker on the rack with the water just touching the rack as always. And we set it for an hour and a half and we wait. And here they are. They're still hot. Take them out carefully. They're hot. And then uh, shake them up a bit. Um, notice this also the water level didn't go down so this is another reason I really like these instant pots the the water is at this practically the same level it was when I poured it in there um, it's it's a 
closed system, it stays in there until you vent it. So it's great. I love it. 